What's up guys, you are watching Elite Dangerous and this here is my Explorer. Actually it's called Chrysalis, that's the Anaconda with a ship kit and all that. Come on, I just wanted to show off my awesome ship. But this time I'm gonna take a look at this uh, Guardian puzzle thing. There is another some kind of a mission, I heard something, some rumors about it. So if I open this map, I already um, mapped it. Where is this um, button in here? It was a mini system. Here we go. This system, I heard if you go in there, you can uh, get some special uh, kind of quest. So I'm going to check this out. I'm going to show this again, uh, just in case. If you're going to take a trip, then make sure you uh, select star class and select these uh, seven first ones. These are the stars where you can scoop up the fuel and make sure it's apply filter to the route. So that's very important. But uh, first I'm gonna have to get there and then I'll see if the rumors are true. So jump. Of course. Right, so I just arrived in the mini system. Let's see if it's scanned. I think it is. Let's just uh, fuel scoop a little bit. Actually I don't have to. Open system scanner. Done. Open system scanner. Five by five. Yeah, it's hundred percent. This is pretty cool. I really like this system scanner. It's very useful. Okay, so um, I was told to go to this uh, Felice dock. My sources tell me that this is where the mission is. So it's pretty close, actually. Look how close it is, guys. Right, I'm. Uh, Approach. I'm not gonna use the auto docking until I'm inside the hangar. It's a lot easier uh, inside the hangar, but outside uh, going into it, it's just too slow. So I'm doing this part manually. Yeah, god damn it. He was distracting me. And hey, reduce the speed. Yes, mommy, we'll reduce the speed right now. <laughs> Not. <laughs> okay, now what? Oh, what? Decoding the ancient ruins. Yep, that's the one. I do contact ship. Stop blabbering. Okay, let's see what this is. I have an exciting opportunity to off offer you. My research into the ancient ruins has uh, yielded results of a sort. I have developed a way to decode the data from the ancient sites. Although I cannot specify the various combination of objects and data types needed, my decoding system should help decipher the ancient data. The key is using the ancient objects with active obelisks to unlock it. I've taken the liberty of uh, uploading my decoding software to your ship system. Yeah, nice to know that my ship is so easily accessible. Unfortunately, the ancient technology adapts to the cipher after a few weeks, so our task is time critical. Please ex explore my uh, light. I can't see. What does it say in there? Uh, explore as my... I, I can't see. Explore as my uh, sites as you can find. If you find all the data and entries, there will be a bonus in it for you. Alright. But how do I accept this? And on the side note, exploring is actually now worth it. Look at this page, 2.6 million and that was within like what, 20 minutes or how long it was until I flew in here, I kind of forgot. But I scanned a couple of systems using that uh, spectrum scanner and 2.6 million, not bad. So this is the same message, it's on the mission board in here, as you can see, decoding the ancient ruins. So it doesn't really tell you where they are, you get 10 million, hmm, not bad. Uh, so I have to find them on my own. I have some of them mapped out already, so I'm gonna just set my way to one of them that I think is the right one, and then we shall see. On the previous videos you saw me do uh, those missions, so I have some of the stuff in the cargo. As far as I know, you will need these. You need these ancient casket, tablet, uh, and these kind of things. Uh, as far as I know, you only need one of each. No, two of each, I think. Uh, I think I'm gonna sell some of them to increase my jump range. So decoding these messages is a lot harder than I thought. You have to visit a lot of systems, a lot of sites actually, and I'm gonna get to the scanning part uh, in a second, but um, basically the, this, there is just no way to memorize this thing. You just have to um, 
kind of look it up and then write it down. Uh, so there is a really great website. It's uh, called Root Optimizer. It will uh, optimize the places you have to visit. They're like scattered all over the galaxy. This is the first place where I'm going to go. So I'll uh, continue from there once I've reached it. For now, I'm going to just do this. Landing gear. Understood. And get the hell out of here. Once I reach there, then I will explain what you need to do in there. Oh shit. Oh no no no. Whoa! Oh my god. That was not that great. But anyway, I'm on my way to that uh, first Guardian site then. Right, so I just arrived in the first system in here. So let's see. 24 um, planets. I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do in here. I mean, I know what I'm supposed to do, but... Um, which planet is it then? Let's see. Oh, it shows you ancient ruins. How convenient. That's where I'm going then. Is this ancient ruins on a sun or something? That looks like a sun. Look at that. Yeah, but look at this site, guys. This this is so beautiful. Haha, <laughs> bit scary at the same time, but... Yeah, is this some kind of a lava planet in there? They look so tiny, like some red tennis balls. <laughs> But what is this ancient ruins? There are two... Oh, there are two planets. W wait, what are they? Looks like these planets are like stuck in each other. Is this a planet sex? They... What? Okay, now they're separating. Okay, there we go. But it still looks like a lava planet. Oh my god, look at that, guys. But it... Oh, an ancient ruins. Wait, I have three of them. Guardian, Struction, H... Ah... Uh, I don't know which one I have to go to. Uh, I'm gonna have to check my notes, guys. I'm gonna just um, chill here for a second. Well, I won't know until I land on the planet. Uh, the first one I need was 50 something, the coordinates. 59, 13. I'll, I'll know when I see it, so. Let's just get closer. Alright, so there are two sites uh, next to each other. I need one of them and the other one I don't need. So let's... I, I just can't see the coordinates. Can any any of you see? See, my ship's um, skin is right on top of it and I can't see it. This is, this is really annoying and I can't see the heart either. What does it say? It's 90 something, isn't it? I can't tell what it is. Yeah, I need the other one, I think. It's so difficult seeing the coordinates because of this um, interface. Yeah, I need this one. This this is what I need. Whoa, that's pretty cool. Look at that. That's like a Colosseum. That that's quite big. Whoa, whoa! Stop, 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 stop. Uh. Okay, I'm gonna have to land somewhere in here. Uh, I don't know where where I can land, but I never seen this site. This is pretty interesting, man. Landing gear. Landing gear. Yeah, I think I can put it right in here. Let's try. Don't you tell me it's unsuitable. Unsuitable yourself. Nice. Yeah, this this is perfect. Just like made for me. Look at that. There we go. I am down. So let's deploy the SRV then. Night vision on. Of course. Alright, let's get cracking, guys. Oh, no, no, not the turret. I don't want to go to the turret. Well, the question is, are there going to be any sentries in here? I actually did it wrong already, but okay, that's fine. I need to take the turret out. So... So what you need to do in here is um, find these that are activated. No, that's not activated. What is that in there? Ain't Ancient. Um, I was just listening for the sound. See? You need to find these. And you need to scan them with certain cargo into your cargo hold. I don't have them yet. These symbols, they mean something. Uh, I need to learn these symbols first. You need to bring those uh, things from the ship cargo that I showed you. And then you need to scan these uh, obelisks with the right cargo in your SRV. 
and then you're gonna decode a part I think there are hundred parts total uh, you can do about five at a time on each site so you only have to visit about 20 sites and I already have two on this planet so that's how this decoding works it's gonna definitely take me a long time see there's another one in here see uh, so anyway, I have to go through over some notes and stuff and figure this out before I um, start scanning anything in here Because if you do it wrong, then you don't really get anything. I don't think you're gonna reset anything, but I don't think you're gonna get anything either All right guys, this mission is really freaking difficult I am like uh, going over these notes and stuff that I found information about it and it's really difficult I don't even know who figured it out at the first place, but it's really difficult There are different places for these uh, obelisks and there are different categories So there is like a number one two three four and you have to find a very specific obelisk So they don't show it the numbers on them. It doesn't really show you so you have to just figure it out yourself and you just have to find the right category I think I have to actually go back to the ship because I don't know where the right one is I know this is the dome thing I'm on top I think uh, But I need to find the right place. I'm showing you the map right now This is how it looks like and I have to find a C1 and then I have to scan it um, With a certain type of uh, materials from my ship so Mm, yeah, that's gonna be a little bit difficult, but um, I'm gonna first uh, figure out the orientation which way I am placed in here Where is like north and south and stuff the degrees. I mean see on the top uh, On top of the hot thing. So this is about zero in there. I think zero is actually the north. Yeah, I think so So I think I can actually uh, put myself like this yeah, so I'm facing this one, so C should be somewhere on the left, so C should be somewhere in there. Um, left from that dome thing. Actually, I'm gonna try and find it. I think I'm gonna actually uh, see already the C. Night vision on. I concur. I think this is C. Let's see. If this is C. Uh, this is, is that the entrance? Yeah, and I think this is a C category. I'm pretty sure this is the C category. Yep, th definitely sure this is C. Because this is like, yeah, that's the... Uh, I'm facing, wait, I'm facing through that, so... Yeah, definitely is or not. I don't know, I have to figure it a little bit out, and I don't think you wanna watch me figuring it out. So I'm gonna just explain once I figure it out, and then I will tell you what I did. Alright, so I'm pretty sure that this is the right orientation based on the map I showed you. This here is the pit and this is the like the canyon thing that is like collapsed in or whatever. And so if I look in there, that's where the zero orientation is. So yeah, I think this is how it is. So um, it's somewhere behind and slightly to my left is the C column. So it should be just slightly, it should be in here in front of me, let's see. I know, I'm really good at um, orientating stuff. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? I just had some major lag spike, I thought my game crashed but it didn't, so. Um, where did I turn now? Oh my god, okay, I came from there. Uh, so it should be somewhere in here, should be the C column, let's see. Yeah, that's the C. I, I knew it. I knew it. That's the C. C is right here. Slightly off. I accidentally also uh, dismissed my ships. Ship! So, it, wait. Is that O or is that C? No, I think that's an O column. So, the C should be somewhere in here, down here. Yeah, that's C. Yeah, that that is C. No, stop flipping, please. Okay. And I need to scan C1 with uh, two of the objects from the ship. So yeah, I'm gonna go back to the ship. Now I know where the C is. Yeah, that's easy. I'm gonna easily find this. Um, I don't remember the object names, but I have the markers for them. Not the markers, but the short versions of them. So I will know once I see them. Yeah, I think my ship is uh, parked between O and B. Yeah, that, that's, uh, that's good. Okay, I know exactly where I'm at. 
and it doesn't seem like there are any uh, guardian sentries, so you don't need to shoot anything. Okay, let's see, where's my uh, ship thingy? Uh oh, okay, there we go. Uh, let's see, what did I need? Uh, yep, uh, I need totem. No, uh, first I'm gonna put the relic into the into the ship. Okay, wait, wait, whatever. I need totem and I need urn. Uh, transfer, there we go. Okay, and now I need to find the... Um, find the number one thing. The C1. God damn it. I wanted to jump over, but the ship is too close, so my boosters didn't work. Uh, look at this mega jump. Alright, I can't um, remember which one was number one. Let's see. Yeah, see, it doesn't tell you anything on the obelisk. Or maybe it does. This yeah, it does actually, I think. I don't know. I'll just scan it, whatever. Uh, did I get something? Encoded? Did I? Yep, there we go. Ancient, uh, decoded ancient data cultural uh, research. Yep, yep, th there we go. Cultural uh, research number 4 out of 20. So there is um, four cat no, five categories and each category has 20 uh, things. This data holds more details about the Guardian's culture. The tipping point that rise the organized religion amongst the Guardians doesn't appear to have been the creation. You can read this if you want, but this is how it works. And now I need to scan... Um, Number six with another combination, so I have to go back to the ship again. Let's close this one. Okay, I need um, not the urn, I need a totem and a tablet, which is T O and T A. Okay, transfer. There we go. Yeah, I know handbrake is on. Okay, and now I have to go back and scan that C6. That should be easy enough. Alright, let's see, where is that uh, obelisk number 6? I, I would assume it's this one in here. Let's try. It is on the map I showed you, but I'm not looking at it. I'm trying to figure it out. Yep, that was the correct one. Let's check. Yep, uh, I got uh, cultural number 5. That's exactly what I needed. Interesting. This is very interesting, very interesting indeed. This data holds more details about the Guardian's cultures. That was anti la 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 la. You can pause the video if you want to read it. I think you don't really want me to uh, read this entire thing. Okay, and next I need a D1. Uh, where's D? D, 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 D is uh, two places past this one. That next one is M and then it's the N is somewhere there and then the... D is behind there where I'm aiming at so but again back to the ship right I'm back in the C section so I'm gonna try full from here into the M section that is an M section I'm gonna have to go right through that and let's see where is the that should be the D section in there whoa 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 god damn it or is it N section should be is that an N section yeah no that's not uh, I think this is the D section. Okay, I have to scan D1. So, where is D1? I would assume it goes the same way. Where is the same way? I have no idea where is D1. This, maybe? Let's try. One is usually in the corner. I mean, it has to be, unless it's some alien... Uh, let's see, what did I get? Did I get the correct one? Yes, cultural... Um, wait, what did I... Yes, cultural number 6. Yep, that's that's what I got. So, again, you can read this if you want. Hold some shocking revelations. It talks about the uh, religion that emerged towards the end of the Guardians. Da, 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 da. Okay, there we go. So, uh, this this is the idea behind it. That's how you do it. I think I have showed you how to find things, how to navigate... And there is no point showing you any of this, you know, all, all of this, I mean. So I'm gonna just skip some of this because I have to scan a lot more on this. 
Uh, in total, it's, I have to visit only 11 sites and 10 planets. That's pretty easy, actually. 10 different systems and 10 planets. So it's not that much, actually. And it's roughly about uh, 2,700 light years, the total traveling distance. So it's not that much, to be honest. On this site, I have to uh, scan about 15 more. So that's going to take at least an hour. So I'm going to do just that. And if there is anything else to show you, then I will. But otherwise, I will skip these places because I already explained how to do this. I hope um, you understand it. I actually uh, ran into a small pickle in here. I realized that I don't have two orbs and I need two orbs to scan the next uh, obelisk. So I have to take off, go to the guardian structure. There are also some kind of stuff in there, but uh, I have to pick up an orb from here. Fortunately, it's very close by, so this is exactly where I'm going to. Gonna fly in there, pick up the orb, and then I'll come back. I'll just totally show you. Well, you have seen this already on the previous videos, and if you haven't, then check it out where I was um, solving these guardian puzzles and stuff. But this is the site where you get those urns and stuff, like I showed you before. You also get a lot of materials and stuff in there, so... See, there, there is something, look, right in there. Maybe I can use limpad controllers. Wait, 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 I need to try this, let's see. Uh, collector... Uh, but I can't aim at that thing, that's the problem, see? Whoops. Wait, maybe I can send the limpad out without that? Uh... Yeah, let's see if the limpad drone uh, picks it up, let's see. What? It just crashed into the ground. Yeah, that doesn't work, un unfortunately. Alright, here I am, and I needed the orb, I think. Oh, what the? It's a little bugged, isn't it? Look, there's something floating in here, and floating rocks. This, this site is a little bit bugged. Yeah, look, this is like, this site is completely bugged. Look, there's like floating stuff in here. Where is orb? Where is orb? Where is orb? I don't know, this this kinda gets on my nerves that this is so bugged, this site. Oh my god, there is a guardian sentinel. God damn it. Power to weapons. Weapons. Well, I don't know. I'm gonna drive around a little bit and see if I can find an orb. Just a quick note that I didn't find the orbs anywhere else but this site in here. I'm sure they exist uh, in other sites, but they are quite rare. Uh, I will show you in a second um, which system it is. You can see my SRV tracks in here. I didn't show it. It's right there where I did the circles, right there in the middle of the screen. That's where the orb was, a little bit up in there. It was just on the ground in there. I'm just uh, parked right here. So, and the system is uh, Vela Dark Region uh, KRWC124. It's on the left uh, bottom. A lot of people keep asking me on the videos, like, what system? What system? But it shows on my dashboard right there. It shows which system I'm in. So that's why I don't usually mention it. But I guess it's too difficult for people to read the text. So now I had to mention it. <laughs> Otherwise, there's gonna be. Um, a lot of questions about it. But yeah, I found my orb and now I'm gonna just be on my way back to the system where I left off the scanning. So I got back in here after taking a break and I noticed something really weird. Well, yeah, the sun came out and all that, but it looks like the coordinates are all messed up now. The orientation, I mean. See, the zero is now there and it looks like it's the other way around. I mean, I'm trying to make heads and tails of that, but it looks like when the planets rotate, the actual coordinates change. Not the coordinates, the coordinates are the same. The orientation, because I'm looking at the zero, and see this cliff thing that is caved in? That was on the other side. Which means that it's it's turned. This, this is really, really annoying. I didn't know that. So, yeah. One more note to my uh, journal in here. So now it's like 180 is where the zero was before. This this is really confusing, guys. I didn't expect this. 
At least it's a little bit brighter and there's also a speed track in here. Look at that. I can do like really fast circles in here like a race car. That's pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, what the heck was that? Yeah, look at that. <laughs> Why not have some fun? Yeah, this, this is where I was before. I was parked in there. I'm gonna actually go in there. I just noticed this instant that it's it's other way around. Damn, I'm good. So now I have to figure this out. Yeah, this is where my ship was parked before. That was between uh, O and P. So I'm gonna have to take the same orientation to um, know where I'm at exactly. So when I turn around here, I do a handbrake uh, turn. What did I just press? I don't know. Whatever. So 180 is exactly where I'm facing now. So that's that's the old north now so that should be O and that should be P so this is really really confusing I actually need O I need O uh, 7 O 7 <laughs> O 7 <laughs> I don't know which one is O 7 and by the way I was wrong about one thing these um, cliffs they do have different numbers after all uh, I, do, I don't I can't read alien language, but if you make screenshots of them, then uh, you can actually make sense of them I'll just scan it and see what happens. I have two orbs, so Let's see Okay, that was definitely the one of the right ones, but I don't know which one. Let's let's check. I'm gonna check I'm trying to make sense of this technology research one And if I'm looking at my chart, this was 07 that was 07. So this is a. Uh, oh wait, okay, it's not lit up anymore. That was 7 in alien language. So next one I need is. Um, uh, 015. There are only three of them, so it it can only be one of one of those two. Which one was it? No, that one I scanned. Maybe it's this one at the. At the end. No, this one is also active. Maybe this one? Uh, what does this look like to you? I don't know. I'll scan it and see if it's right. I also noticed one more thing I'm going to tell you in a second. Nope, I didn't get anything. So that must be um, 019. I think that's 019. There was one more somewhere. Which one was it? I'll turn the lights off. It's easier to see. This one. Yeah, that's 15 then, is it? Um, let's see. Yes. And the reason why I got two of them scanned and uh, I got technology... Yep, that, that was 15. So that's how it 15 looks like in alien language. Uh, right, let me explain one thing. Uh, for example, I needed to scan that obelisk uh, 7, 07 and 015. 07 needed um, just one orb. Uh, wait, I'm trying to show you, yeah. It needed one orb, and O15 needs two orbs, but you don't have to actually uh, drop one of them, you can have both of them, and then you can scan the one that requires only one, and that's gonna still work, so that's how it works. And now we need to go to back to the ship, and take one tablet and one orb, and then scan the other obelisks, which was uh, that one in there, which is uh, supposedly number 19 then. Another entry to my uh, journal is that these are not numbers, these are what uh, what kind of objects you need to scan the obelisks. I just found it out in here. Uh, this here on top is the urn. Uh, I think it's... Uh, no, it's totem. That's what it is. It's totem and this one is orb. That looks like an orb. And I know this because this needs two objects to scan. See, orb and totem. And there was another one, yeah, I have lights off because it's a lot easier to find them. And this one, see, is only totem, so I can do both of them at the same time, I will show you. I'll scan this one, this needs only totem. And then we can scan this. And then the other one was here. And if I scan this one, then I will also get it because I have orb and totem in my cargo bay and that's all I need. And there we go. 
so yeah that's confirmed that's how it is these are icons so i still don't know how you find what like numbers and stuff uh well anyway i scanned these two night vision on night vision on affirmative there we go uh, this is quite a large site, but yeah, that, that's again on the dark side of the planet, so I, I don't know how I'm getting so unlucky. Looks like I finally found some ruins that are uh, on the bright side of the planet. <laughs> Alright, so here we are. Uh, let's see the map. It's pretty straightforward, I think. Let's see. Uh, e -I -N. Yeah, I have to face it from this way. I don't know, these maps, uh, that was the first one was just coincidence, so that it was uh, facing the same way, the um, direction changes, so, like I said, uh, based on the planet's rotation, it changes, the facing thing, the compass thing, whatever you call it, landing gear. Landing gear. I had um, a huge lag spike again, pretty close to the sites in here, so I can scan them right ahead, there we go, and let's deploy, whoops, wrong thing, CA and CA, that's casket, two caskets, there we go, transfer, and I have to scan D6, D6 is uh, pretty close by actually, so I landed in here, it should be right, yeah, that's, that's, that's the one in here, it's right here. Oh my god, I'm stuck on my landing gear. That's perfect. Uh, it should be on top right. Oh, there's something uh, coming out. It should be this one. Yep, it looks like caskets. I can't uh, take my two rack out. Wow, okay, whatever. Oh my god. My ship is so close that I can't take the two rack out. Maybe I can do it from here. Uh, where was it? It was this one, wasn't it? Oh, come on! Why do they block it? What? <laughs> Something just has to go wrong, doesn't it? Oh my god. Right, so I just uh, moved my ship and scanned the thing and got it over with. So next one we have um, E22. EE e is very close. Uh, it's this one is E, but where is 22? Uh, it requires, what was it? A tablet and urn. So I'm gonna find it. I'm gonna just look for it. Ship is too close again. Come the hell on. Okay, I hope... Um, I can maneuver in here. Let's see what this is. Wait, what did I say? Tablet and urn. That actually looks like a tablet and urn. Yeah, let's do it. Or is it totem? No, that's that's urn. Definitely it looks like an urn. Let's see. See? There we go. Uh, like a pro. Uh, civilization. What did we expect from there? Yeah, I got the right thing. Yep. So, next one... We're gonna do the same, but I just think this uh, this site looks a lot better so you can actually see what's going on Look at that. That's actually looks pretty cool. Let's uh, put it in third person just for uh, admiring purposes. Look at that dun, dun, dun. Look at that Yeah, this is one of the most beautiful sites I've seen. How far can I go with this view? Damn. Okay, this is the furthest I can go but yeah, this this is the map like how I landed in here. That's how I uh, just memorize it. I have um, always found what I was looking for. See, this here is the E, and uh, that over there is a G and D. Then L is somewhere in there, in middle of the screen. Then these ones in here. Uh, that's um, wait, where is E? No, that was E. Yeah, that was E in there. Then this one is T, um, N, and I. So yeah, it's pretty easy to navigate. Once you know the facing of the structure, then it's pretty easy to navigate. 
Well, I found another marvelous view. Look at that. There is my ship and this is the site. I think this is one of the biggest ones. There are so many of these um, obelisks in here. See, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Um, I think there's like eight of them. A lot of these letters and look at this uh, nice view in there. Uh, maybe uh, screenshot time. Look at that. That's pretty beautiful. Or like so, look at that. I can't go too far from the ship with the view, that's too bad. But yeah, the view is nice. I thought this is also worth showing. This is a cheese planet. We have a cheese planet, people. Let's um, look at it from the third person view. Oh, my ship is going, I don't know where. Uh, I need to put it exactly in there. Reset mouse. Reset mouse. I concur. And then I'll put the free look on and then I can look around. Look at that. That is a pretty beautiful view. It looks like it's gonna crash into it, but it doesn't, so it's all good. Look at that. That's also on the bright side of the planet. That's pretty good. Look at this planet. It looks like it's had a hat on! Christmas hat! Whee! <laughs> Alright, so let's land on this uh, huge cheese planet in here. It's pretty cool. Gotta be careful with the gravity. Yeah, look at that. That's pretty speak sight. Okay, enough of that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's see the gravity. I can't, I can't see the gravity. I can't see how much it is again. It's in a, such a bad place in Anaconda. Maybe it's just the colors. Uh, right, let's figure out the orientation of this. Wait, there are two of these. This one is at the bottom right. So I need to go a little bit like this, I think. Oh, wait, no, 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 that's the wrong one. No, no, yeah, that's the wrong one. I need to be on the left side of this. That's pretty cool. I could actually land right in the middle in there. What do you think? Right in there where my uh, crosshair is. Can I? I'm gonna try. Yeah, I don't know if I uh, want to land in the middle. Then the ship might be blocking the turret things. Maybe on the left in here somewhere? No. Yeah, I, I can't land in the middle because it's gonna block my turret thing again. Then I can't um, scan like uh, what I had before. Landing gear? Landing gear. Okay, there we go. That's that's perfect enough. Look at that. There we go. Let's get the scarabout deploy. So I park my ship in there. There should be D. Oh no, is it G? I think. I have it open on the other monitor, the map. So. Whoop, 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 whoop. I know exactly where it is. My orientation is very good. That's G. What's going on? Okay. Um. It's behind this. Um. Then there is D somewhere. D should be right in front of me in here. Yep, that's D on my uh, right there, I think. Where is it? Yeah, that should be D. Let's uh, just check. Or is it? No, what the heck? Okay, now I'm lost. Yeah, that's B. That's what I need. Yep, I was in the right path after all. Yeah, that's B in here. I don't need lights, by the way. And I needed B16. It was with um, urn and casket. You can see the marks anyway on these. Let's uh, check the marks. Where are the markings on this one? What? Uh, this is a tablet. Wait, what, what did I have? Urn and casket. No, that's tablet and urn. Du, 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 du. You can also hear them. I don't know if you, uh, your sound is good enough, but I can hear these towers if I'm quiet. Must be another one. No, that's just the same one. Is it? No, no. Th oh, yeah, there's another one. Yep, that's the one. Urn and casket. That's exactly what I need, yeah. This one is urn, the top one, and that's a casket. I already know the alien symbols, so... And that's gonna be the message received, so... Don't you? And the next one I need to scan with urn and tablet, that was the other one I think that I saw, so... Uh, going back to the ship, and again, that's how I'm doing it, so... Just take a look at this, guys. This is amazing. Look how long this column is. And yes, you can drive in third person. That's pretty awesome. Look at that. They need to scan some of them in here. Actually, three of them. But I just wanted to show it off. Look at that. That's pretty awesome. 
Oh, someone, something is coming out. Look at that totem thing. The relic thing, actually. That's a relic tower, so. And if you're wondering, I have the controls on the controller for the Lunar Buggy. It's uh, far, um, far, uh, a lot easier to control than with a uh, keyboard and mouse. See, I can go really slow like this. And I can turn really, you know, smoothly. Stuff like this. So it's pretty, pretty, pretty good, you know. But, well, anyway, enough of admiring of this. But then again, I mean, come on, Elite Dangerous has some seriously nice views, man. Look at that. All this planet and everything. Just can't wait for the atmospheric planets to be put in at some point. But, well, let's get back to my decoding. Once again, I want to mention that I really like the persistence in this game. How the tire tracks, they remain. Look at that, I'm just following my tire tracks. It makes it so easy. Look how many of them there are. I think they do disappear after a time, and obviously after a reload, but I wish they would just stay, I mean, come on. Can't developers really, like, make it happen? Like, make the tire tracks stay forever? Like, from all the players and everything? That would be just so amazing, imagine that. And if there's just too many of them piled on top of each other, then they should just, uh, like, form a new terrain, just like in real life. If you damp down, like, you know, a certain surface, then it just becomes, like, you know dampened down surface so uh, like different you know it would be so amazing I would really like to see this kind of persistent world and now I uh, oh my god I got lost in here I know I should have jumped over them no there we go that's that's what I was looking for again but yeah I just wanted to explain this again see the tire tracks are here again uh, they go in and out all the time it's pretty awesome here is another amazing view guys, look at that, that sunrise, and if you actually look at the line, I'm not moving the camera at all, look at the sun line, as you can see it slowly, slowly is actually rising, it's pretty amazing how the Elite Dangerous Universe works, like all these stars you see, you can go on to each one of them, just imagine the possibilities, and the planets are actually moving like in real life, look at that, that's where the sun, uh, sun is that's where the sun is rising from i was actually thinking about doing it in a time lapse but i would have to sit here for like maybe like half an hour or something i mean look how slowly it goes see it's uncovering very very slowly i might do it at some point in the future but right now i just don't feel like uh, just sitting and recording here for like 30 minutes <laughs> but nevertheless it is absolutely amazing sight just look at this guys it's it's amazing Well, uh, I ran into another pickle. I realized that there are some of them missing. A uh, good thing I kept all of the messages. I didn't delete en any of them, so I uh, highly recommend keeping them. I googled a lot and there is absolutely nowhere that tells you where you can see which ones you already decoded. I checked everywhere, I just can't find anything. Did I miss something or... So basically what I did, I just wrote down, I just clicked on them, it shows you 4 out of 20 uh, cultural so I just wrote them into a notepad and I wrote out which messages I have and I have exactly 100 of them but I realized there is actually uh, 101 of them anyway I marked them down and I'm gonna try to chase them down using that um, root planner so I'm gonna get them all alright so I just wanted to mention it and show you that it's good to keep them Keep the data, keep the, you know, messages, so you can track down which ones you're missing. Wait, what was that? Oh, that was Biological 18. So, I started looking around and I think I missed one in here, which is Historical 18. So, I'm gonna scan this one. That's pretty sure, um, the right one. That's two caskets, so let's see. See, I did miss it. Or did I? Okay, that that's the 18. Historical 18. Yeah, that's, that's what I needed. But why didn't... Why is it like two of them? I don't get it. So I did get it before? What? I am confused. Now I have like two of them or what? what's this? Well, the thing is I got the um, historical 18, which means I'm only missing the cultural 10 now. So I'm going to go after that now. So this should be the last one. I think I actually was in here before because the system was discovered. 
I can't remember. I, I'm pretty sure I actually was in here and I just missed one. So uh, it should be this one in here and I just need to scan it with them. Totem and urn. Just need to find it first. It's It should be this column in here. Uh, let's see. Totem and urn. What? No symbols? Show me your secrets. Yep, that's Totem and Earth. So let's scan this one. That should be the last one. Come on, what's gonna happen? I hope the universe doesn't explode. Message. Yep, that was the last one, guys. It's still like two of them, see? But it, it's... I don't know why it's like two messages, see? And the best part I haven't showed you yet. I'm gonna show it now. I kind of didn't want to uh, ruin the surprise, but... Uh, uh, check the missions in here, decoding the ancient ruins. Look at the reward. 111 million! <laughs> you get 10 million if you scan like one and for every scanned uh, object you get 1 million. So uh, that's uh, 10, uh, I mean um, 10 million plus 101 million. One, 101 million. So the universe didn't explode, it's all good and I am very very sure that I just missed it somehow. Uh, so, well, that's that's what happens. So if you're doing those, then make sure you don't miss anything. And now I'm just gonna go back to mini system and cash in the mission. We'll also show you how much I made from the exploration, so stay tuned and see you in a second. Alright, I'm on the final approach. Going in. Just gonna follow this fella in there. I'm gonna put the auto docking on. Uh, Right in here. Oh, what the? No, what? Oh my god. <sighs> I don't know what this auto docking is doing. It, it wanted to uh, go out of this thing. See, that's why I hate this thing. Let's see if it um, goes on now. There we go. Almost, almost like destroyed my ship, man. Okay, here goes. Let's see how much uh, do I get. Repair all, restock, refuel, mission board. Let's see this um, decoding thing. Decoding the ancient ruins. Rewards. 111 million credits. <laughs> Alright, so that's uh, all I got for it then. Did I? Yeah, I did get the cash. But let's see how much my uh, exploration data is worth. I didn't spend much on it, but I did scan some of them, so let's see. Woohoo! <laughs> 7 million! Yeah, the scanning of the systems is a lot easier now, thanks to the FSS, the Full Spectrum System Scanner. So, almost 120 millions. Not bad, not bad at all. It took me roughly about two days. Oh, there's another page. Let's sell this too then. Yeah, I forgot there are two pages. There you go. <laughs> so, this was decoding of the ancient data. Let's see if I got any messages in here. Independent promote to elite. Ooh, nice. Founder's world, um, Founder's world permit. Nice. See? I got all this uh, awesome stuff for it. Ding dong dong. But, well, guys, I will see you uh, next time.